we talk about supports, what their role is, who's great for what, and uh, who you should play mostly, and who you should start playing. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, let's start off with Lucio. Lucio is a really basic healer. I mean, he's la he's a lazy healer uh, to start it off. So if you don't like playing healer, Lucio is going to be your guy if you need if you are forced to play healer. He's an AOE healer that can also do DPS, which is really good. He's decent at DPS, but it's nothing too serious. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of his wombo combos and when you should speed and when you should heal. <clears throat> Lucio has speed for a reason. Every single newbie Lucio is going to stay on healing all the time. While, while um, if you are a pro Lucio or a Lucio who is just good at the game, then you should be able to know when to stay on speed and when to stay on uh, heals. So first of all, I'll talk about healing. <laughs> he does a decent amount of healing, about 15 to 25 per second, and it doubles up once you amp it up. His amp it up has a 12 second cooldown while his push or get back or as a lot of people like to call it boop is uh, has a 4 second cooldown which means you can pretty much abuse it in any game mode. He has cr his crossfade which has no cooldown whatsoever so just feel free to switch and uh, his passive is a wall ride which is a great survivability tool for Lucio. So, uh, to start off with the basics, heal once you have uh, heal or no, not uh, heal. Speed once you know that your team can handle themselves, which means they're good on health, they can survive a good amount of time, and yeah. Um. Otherwise, if there is a second healer and you are playing comp. Speed around 70, not 70, 60 percent of the time, and the 40 percent you want to heal. That's because the other healer will uh, focus on healing the other people while you speed them, huh. allowing your team to actually have more survivability than you actually would think than two healers. Let's start off with the strafing on healing. So we're gonna take it from here. And uh, you, you're going to see a good noticeable difference. They're going to drag. Okay. So the aim assist is going to fuck with us a bit, but... Decent. But right here. So. If we take our crossfade to the speed, you can see a much noticeable difference for strafing and bunny hopping. But if you know that your team is in trouble and you amped it up on speed, what you can do is you can still transfer momentum into a jump while it's amped up and then actually get some of the, uh, get a good amount of healing while carrying the momentum of the jump from your amped up speed. Let me show you here. And this allows you to get a good, good bunny hop. And uh, we're going to show you here. So this is 5 meters. Five meters with a heel jump now we're gonna run to this yellow line and we're gonna jump once we hit the yellow line and we land right at the five meters oh, oh, <clears throat> time to accelerate. and as you see we get a good difference of the jump and uh, like I said once we hit the yellow line we're gonna hit this yellow line which is decent up, up the as you see, you carry all that momentum once in your jump from the speed boost into the healing, which allows you in midair to heal and at the same time do a lot of, uh, have a lot of speed for your team. But yeah. Uh, his sound barrier is simple. 
amp it up and switch to speed right at healing. So you're gonna amp it up at healing. And the second you press triangle, you want to, or your Q button for your ultimate on PC or Y for your Xbox, switch to speed while you are in the middle of uh, uh, the animation, which is allowing you to get a decent amount of healing off and at the same time, uh, giving your team good speed, and then one, look, the second your team gets good speed, you'll then they'll then have an overshield, which is, yeah. Yeah, uh, he has no damage drop off whatsoever, and it takes two bursts of the head to kill someone with 200 HP. The best way you want to combo with it is headshotting or doing as much damage as you can, booping, and then shooting them and punching. So we're tried in the body. It's, I mean, if you hit all your shots correctly, yeah, you will get the you will get the damage, the most damage out there. But otherwise, schmack. He's not good for DPS unless you can actually use it. So let me show you the combo again. Oh, let's break it. Damn! So yeah. Uh, let's move on to the next uh, healer, which is going to be Ana. She does not have a lot going for her, because right now she's getting a nerf. Uh, PlayStation won't get it. I've been playing a lot more Lucio than Ana lately, but... That, that's just that's just me. But yeah, she's very simple healer, but she takes a lot of skill to use. And if you can master Ana's healing technique, you're it's gonna be good. Oh, you look tired. So, what do you want to do when you're Ana? And I will answer it really simply. Focus your tanks first, then go for the 200 HP targets. This is just... It's... It's, it's a fact, in my opinion. It's just it's a pure fact that you need to go for your tanks. Ana's meant to heal tanks, but if you can't, then... Go for your 200 HP. But heal tanks, prioritize tanks, get then get the rest of your team up. And then, then you can focus on doing damage. Then you have nano boost, which is just nano boost, nano boost. Nano boost gives you a 50% damage buff, 100% damage reduction, I think, 50 to 100%, which allows you to really get the maximum potential out of ultimates and just healing people. Mercy! My first ever healer, and this was my first ever skin, so I put this on her. She's the simple picture of a healer. And and to define what I just said is, whenever you think of a healer, you think of someone who just purely heals. And Mercy is that. Mercy is your main perspective of a healer. And, uh, yeah. So she has two two items in her inventory here which is the staff and her whatever it's called i, I don't know how to catechias catechias i don't know it, it's it's a star wars blaster but um let me get you patched up so she has two abilities for her staff which is a simple healing boost Damage boost, healing boost, damage boost, healing boost, damage boost. She used there. she used to be the best main target healer or single target healer, but then they buffed Ana to fifteen percent and uh, her buy rate by fifteen percent, and now Ana's the best single target healer, and that's for a very good reason. You can melee with her staff, which allows you to fly up to someone, melee them, put a good heal or a damage boost on them, which gives them the uh, gives them the advantage. 
Her blaster is only used when the team is topped off and someone's chasing you. Otherwise, if you know that your team is healed, there's no one coming after you, then go damage boost. No, 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 no. Oh, you fucked that. But, uh, yeah. You mainly want a damage boost if no one's coming after you. If someone's coming after you, you can easily protect yourself with the blaster. So it takes one, two, three, four, five. Five shots. Five shots in the head to kill people with this blaster. About 10 to 11 when used on the body. 10 shots exactly. So she has a headshot multiplier of exactly two. Uh, next and last one is, or, uh, let's cover her ultimate. Her ultimate is Resurrect. You only want to use this when two or more enemies need to be revived. But here, I'm just going to It's a really good ult, and you usually want to combo it with the Guardian Angel, so you can get the maximum amount of resing and giving, you so giving yourself good mo uh, mobility. Uh, she has two abilities, which is her passive and her Guardian Angel, which passive allows you to slowly descent, and um, her f her um, what is it? Guardian Angel allows you to fly to an enemy, which gives you a combining those two together will give you a good survivability with her. Good survivability with her. Next is Inyada, a really complex healer, but good when when known how to use him. So his first ability is Orb of Discord and Orb of Harmony. They're very simple. It, it gives you a 35% damage boost, but uh, he did get buffed. I think his uh, primary or his main, his damage got buffed up by 15%, which is good. He still three shots. It still used to be three shotting, which I don't, I don't know why they buffed his damage, but they, I'm guessing it's to balance it out with the Orb of Discord. As with mercy damage boost it gives you a 50% and the orb of discord used to give a 50% damage increase when the orb of discord was on someone which allowed your entire team to focus the guy and he had like half health otherwise we have the orb of harmony this is what makes him pretty lazy you can simply put an orb of harmony orb of harmony on someone and then and uh, then just walk away now if they are out of your sight for three seconds then the orb of harmony will go his next ability is transcendence and this is his ultimate and this is a really good one. this is where you become invulnerable move faster and heal nearby allies you'll get a solid 200 percent not a 200 you'll double your sprint speed Experience it does really high burst healing, but it cannot protect you against ults such as Diva Ult, McCree High Noon, um, Junkrat's Riptire, or anything that can insta-kill you in one shot. So, if you hear nerf this, High Noon, or Fire in the Hole... Don't use your ultimate, just find cover, or run away, or just try to take on those, the Riptire or McCree. Otherwise, don't. Also, you're not immune from Widowmaker headshots or Hanzo headshots, or Bastion, uh, since they can insta-kill you. Tracer bombs too. Reapers die, 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 you can simply counter that. You can simply counter Pharah. But otherwise, any other hero than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, if a May throws down, great counters to it is Genji, Soldier. Um, Sombra can take your ultimate away, so you don't want to use that. And I'm not trying to be inactive. Jesus Christ. There, you happy now? But something like Zarya's Graviton Surge. May's, uh, whatever it is, Blizzard, Torbjorn, Torbjorn, Molten Core. And uh, Genji's ultimate, Fair's ultimate, Roadhog's ultimate, Winston's ultimate, Reinhardt's ultimate, if you can dodge it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, those are all the healers. Uh, I want to simply explain to you which ones are good for what maps. Uh, Zenyatta is great on defense. And 
because he has that defensive ultimate that can save your entire team, yes, you have the chance. You don't you don't have the chance. You can save your team with this, and it is a great defensive utility, and you can discord any flankers that come in and he's just good for defense all around he's great for king of the hill maps uh he's great on attack allowing you to get pushes in with his transcendence but that's pretty much it mercy once again good on defense and attack she's great overall and you should definitely try and use her but otherwise the best thing she's good for is payload and king of the hill and control maps so she's pretty much good for everything I mean she's not as useful on the control maps like Connor Mora or but King of the Hill she can res all of her fallen allies she can uh, res all of her fallen allies on payloads or payload maps but that's pretty much it and then you have capture points into payloads she's good on those too for everything okay Lucio he's especially good on King of the Hill maps uh, but he is probably the best healer out of the game in terms of gating healing as as like a gold medal. If you want to rank up fast but you're a support main, uh, then use Lucio. I promise you, uh, you will get a lot of a lot more XP than you will with Mercy, but uh, Mercy or Ana. And uh, he's good for any map or, or any any game mode. So defense, uh, defense. Um, attack on any type of game mode, and that's Lucio. His ult provides great defense and uh, great offense pushes. Not as good as Zenyatta's, in my opinion, but it does give you, like, if if you have an enemy, if you have your friendly D.Va or Roadhog, you can simply break it down, and you can survive a D.Va ult. Because D.Va ults do 1,000 damage. Ana. She's best, and... Lights out. She is best in attack, as her uh, nano boost allows you to give good pushes, and you can, and you can focus fire any defenders like a Reinhardt. You can simply get behind his shield and sleep him. But that's it, really. I mean, she's not that good on defense because her ult doesn't provide proper defense. You can really only lean uh, nano boost Reinhardt's on defense, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, possibly subscribe, it would make my day. Peace out.